If you want to know how to make a skip stage product for your game so you can buy it and go to another stage, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to this brand new video on my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a skip stage. So once you buy it, you're going to get teleported to the next stage. And once you like step on a stage, you're going to be at that stage. Because yes, why not? So if you do uh, if you do enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe for epic poker gaming content. Because yes. Because money. I'm joking. Anyways, if you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue jump button down below. I got some awesome perks ready for you. Um, so further on we can continue with the tutorial first of all you're gonna make a script and serve a script service because yes I'm gonna name it leader stats and now you have this print hello world we're just gonna delete that now you're gonna type game the players the player added colon connect function player player dot character added colon connect function char and then local ls is x to instance.new folder not flinch sound effect folder into the player ls.name is equal to the leader stats like that local stage is x to instance.new number value because we're going to use numbers and not like stage one you're going to be at one into leader stats stage dot value is going to be zero and stage dot name is going to be stage yep now we're going to do weight 0 0.5 and we're going to do char dot humanoid root part the position we're just going to make a little variable local stage joint is equal to player dot character uh, player dot leader stats dot stage dot value then chart that humanoid root part dot position is equals to game dot workspace dot stages colon find first child I'm just gonna add some tabs like that find first child and now we're gonna do something I think we're gonna do stage and then dot dot stage joint dot position at the end like this so we're gonna find stage and then the the current level you are on. So we're gonna make a folder. We're gonna name it stages. And you just wanna add in a bunch of parts. I don't know, I'm just gonna put it in order. Cause yes. Okay, like that. So this is gonna be level zero. This is gonna be level one. Level two. Level three. Level four. Level five. But actually you're gonna spawn at stage one, because you start over there. So, for example, you have this now. You're going to put them all in stages. You're going to anchor everything. Hopefully, once we play, we get teleported to the stage one. Because that's what we um, what we are on. And we do not get teleported. Attempt to index nil with position. What do you want? What? Oh, stages. Wait, no. Oh, we did level. Okay, just do, just put level. Yep. Gonna Instead of stage, you're gonna put level on that one, and we get teleported to you. So once we join our game... Yep, as you can see, we're on stage one. We got teleported to number one. If you click on the thing, level one, because we're at stage one. Yes. Um, I'm gonna get a developer product. If you don't know how to get it, just search on YouTube. Um, you need a developer product for your game, so let me just get one real quick. I just got I just got my developer product ID. So now we're gonna make go to start to GUI. We're gonna add in a screen GUI. We're gonna name it Stage. Well, skip stage actually. We're gonna add in a text button and a local script. For the text button, you can customize it whatever you want. I'm just gonna do. Skip Skip stage. Okay, let's just do a skip stage. Lo just like that. Rich text. Yes, yes. Indie. F okay, this looks very cool, actually. Not gonna lie. So this is our skip stage button. Now, in your local script, we're gonna type local MPS is equals to game colon get service marketplace service. Local player is equals to game dot player dot local player. 
Now we can do script apparent dot text button dot mouse button one click gonna connect function and what we can do now is let's do MPS colon prompt product purchase and I'm just gonna local ID is extend to that that's my ID don't use it because it's like a hundred thousand robux you can put a press whatever you want just make sure it's fair enough like 25 robux 50 10 15 20 don't do like outrageous numbers of like 539 just don't I believe it's player comma ID so let's test it out if this is not the case you gotta swap it around it's gonna be ID and player not player ID if we click stage yes as you can see do you want to pry uh, do you want to buy the product yes for 99,999 Robux well, as you can see if we click buy now nothing's gonna happen no and that is not good so we're gonna copy this we're gonna go to uh, we're gonna make a new script not local script just a normal script and you're just gonna name it the uh, the skip stage handler local MPS is it the instance uh, no 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 game colon get service market play service now what we're gonna do it's gonna type MPS dot product uh, process not product I got a bit confused process or receipt receipt I have no idea function and then we're gonna do receipt info if I say it wrong please excuse me don't mind me sorry I'm not I'm not USA or UK okay sorry if receive info the product ID is equals equals to that strange ID you made then local PLR is equals to game the player is colon get player by user ID receive info the player ID now what we're gonna do is gonna gonna, gonna set your stage higher so player dot leader stats dot stage dot value plus equals one because you're gonna get one more stage and what we're gonna do is let's see would that be possible yes it would PLR I'm just gonna wait 0.1 PLR dot character dot humanoid root part dot position is equals to and I'm just gonna copy it just copy all of this code Put it over here. That stage joined um, stage value, and over here you can just do local stage value. It's except PLR dot leader stats dot stage dot value, because I'm not gonna type that out over there. So this is a little skip stage. Let's see if it works. Because what we're doing is gonna wait for the game to like purchase it, and then we're gonna. Uh, but we never returned enum. We gotta do that. So at the end, I'm gonna type return enum dot product purchase product purchase decision dot purchase granted. Cause um if it's not, then nope. Well let's see. Or to stage one. Once we click buy, we get stage two, and we get teleported to the next stage. Let me try, do it again. So you're like obvying, woo, and you're like, no, impossible. You're like, okay, I'm gonna try skip stage, boom, and you're at stage three. You can do this however many times you want. I'm just gonna, for example, if I would go over here, I'm just gonna go boom, and we're at stage four. And now you're gonna get an issue. If you buy it now, you're not gonna get teleported, cause it cannot find stage six. Um, so you might just want to add that in not really a big of a deal Kind of like robux waste for them free money So that is a little skip stage. Um, if I want we can add in a data store, I guess Yes, so you got to go to game settings you got to go to Security and enable studio access. What is this? Okay, just click save go to your leader stats um, what I want to type is at the top local local DSS is extent game colon get service data store service local DB is extent DSS colon get data store yes I am pog why not you can do whatever you want if you want to do um, um, I am very cool XD one two three you can do that 
I'm just gonna do yes I am pog now we can type over here I guess local data um, well local stage data and local success comma error message is equals to pcal function because we do not want our game to break stage data is equals to dss actually db colon get async player dot user id dot dot stage <clears throat> make sure to do that minus stage um if success then stage dot value is equals to stage data and else warn error message just a quick data store game dot players dot player removing call it connect function player and uh, all we could do is db colon set async player dot user id dot dot stage and then come up player dot leader stats dot stage dot value and that is a quick data store um it's gonna work don't worry I'm gonna double check. Uh, yes, it's gonna work. Um, so this is a little data store thingy. Um, you can buy stages however you want. If you, for example, want this one over here, and that one all the way at the edge, and this one all the way over there, and that one all the way over there, you can just test it whatever you want. Don't worry about it. So for example, if you got a skip stage, I'm like, okay. I want to be on stage one. You're gonna be at stage one. Skip stage, boom. And I think I bugged it. No, okay, I didn't. But I believe this is level two. Oh, never mind, it's not. Uh, level three, there you go. And now we're at level four. And if we try to go to level five, this is level five. Alrighty. So, for example, if you want it, so like, um,. They step on a certain part, um, they're gonna get that stage level. So, you just want to add in a script local max is equal to one. Um, script parent dot touch to call and connect function hit if hit dot parent call on find first child humanoid. Just gonna zoom in. Oh my god. Then, so, if there's a hit the parent, then local PLR is equal to game the players, call on get player from character, hit the parent, and we're just going to do PLR that leader stats. Well, actually, if PLR that leader stats that stage that value is above the max, then nothing else. Uh, let me just check because the max is going to be two. Um, yes, so we're just going to do PLR at leader stats at stage at value plus equals one. Just going to double check because it's going to check if it's higher than one. And if yes, we're going to get a new stage level. For example, this is going to be the max and zero. I'm just going to copy that script a lot of times. For example, for two, you want to add in one. For three, you want to add in two. Three. Uh, four. I believe if we go over here. Okay, we're at stage five. That's because the data store saved it. Um, I'm just going to quickly reset that. There we go. Reset it. this so we're at stage one if we try press it not literally really gonna work let me just get that stage two level over here let's see if we go over it we're gonna get stage level two and if we go back to one it's not gonna work because we're already at a high level let's get that one this is number three if we go over it stage number three if we go back to one nothing and two nothing so i'm just gonna get the other two back I believe if you go to five it's gonna go to five yeah but not really a way to exploit so this is gonna work I just want to add in this stage for yourself so if you did in fact enjoy this video about a skip stage handler make sure to like and subscribe 
And um, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace out and goodbye.